Grandma Moses showed us the power of passion and dedication at any age in our lives. That it doesn't matter what age you are today, that if you suddenly you want to start painting, pick up that brush and start painting. It doesn't matter what age you are. This is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art, where in five minutes each week, we talk about something to do with art. Today, I want to talk a little bit about Grandma Moses and also about the Grandma Moses phenomena that it's never too late to bloom. You know, Grandma Moses was a great artist. There's no doubt about it. She was really able to capture rural America. She was born on September 7th, 1860 as Anna Marie Mary Robinson Moses. She had very humble beginnings. She left home at a young age to work as a hired girl at at a neighboring farm. In 1887, she married Thomas Solomon Moses, of whom they had 10 children. Only five survived to adulthood. For most of her life, Moses was dedicated to tending her farm and raising her children. She really had little opportunity to pursue any type of artistic aspirations. You know, but suddenly at the age of 73, life had a, you know, had a twist for her. An injury prevented her from doing her regular farm work. And so she found herself kind of idle. And she had been doing before that sort of needlework and was not really able to do much. So she decided that she would try to turn to do some paintings. So, you know, it sort of became this necessary invention. But here, you know, this is what I love about it. She was 73 years old when she started. Her art had this naive charm and vibrant scenes of rural life. And it caught the attention of a New York art collector who saw it, you know, in her little local area there, there was a painting in one of the windows and he saw her and he was struck by Moses' work and the, how authentic it was and her unique style. So he bought the painting and then began to introduce her to the art world and there kicked off a career, which was extremely successful. So Grandma Moses was known to have what we call a late blooming career. She had astonishing success, you know, as a painter. She painted well into her 90s. Get that. Until her 90s, she painted. She started at 73, painted well into her 90s, producing more than 1,600 works of art in her 25-year career as an artist. Despite her age, she was resilient. She was dedicated and had a deep passion for her craft. She, in fact, ended up on a U.S. postage stamp. Um, some of you might remember. And, you know, she had a contract with Hallmark. There was uh, fabric printed with her uh, designs on it. There uh, was card. She really became quite the phenomena with all of her artwork. You know, the success of Grandma Moses, you know, did more than place her on the map of renowned artists. But it also, you know, is a term which is known as the Grandma Moses effect. And the Grandma Moses effect is basically that age has no barrier. That in life, age should not be the barrier for us to decide what we want to do or when we want to start something. Grandma Moses showed us the power of passion and dedication at any age in our lives. That it doesn't matter what age you are today, that if you suddenly you want to start painting, pick up that brush and start painting. It doesn't matter what age you are, that we can all in life start to be productive. She also showed that older adults can be extremely productive in their lives. You have to remember that, you know, Grandma Moses, too, lived in a time where, you know, a lot of older adults just sort of sat home. They didn't do much. And here she is. She's out there producing art. She's doing licensing. She's doing contracting. She's um, doing art shows. She's doing all of these different things. And she's producing over a thousand works of art, which is a thousand six hundred works of art to be exact during her lifetime. So she was prolific. She worked hard. She she understood that age no knows no boundaries at all. As Grandma Moses once said, I look back on my life like a good day's work. It was done and I'm satisfied with it. So Grandma Moses teaches us all it's never too late to try something new. It's never too late to try to do something different, and it's never too late to become an artist. This is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art. We hope you've enjoyed this and that you've learned something from this great artist, Grandma Moses. We'd like to thank all of you, our listeners, for being part of our community. We know without you it would not be possible, and we'd also like to thank Rico 
and our team who helps put this together. 